dun, 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 dun. Hello, YouTube, and welcome to the actual start of the LP. I just had a cookie, which was fucking delicious. And since it is the weekend, I can record as much as I want. I am a little bit tired. And I do need to mention that I'm only starting this now because someone had their birthday, I believe, today on Friday, and they asked me to do it. Um... Unfortunately, I could not upload this on Friday because I didn't have I, I Just didn't have enough time to do this uh, last night. So hopefully they'll they are completely fine with me uploading this on Saturday I'll probably see if I can get something Something other recorded as well like Minecraft or Outlast either or we'll see but this is going to be the start of the actual Oblivion Reboot. No one has escaped from the Imperial Prison in over 40 years since the days of Jaegar Tharn and the Imperial Sim... Blah, blah, blah. And obviously no one will escape now either because we are going to be coming in on ship. I was born 87 years ago. Really now? For 65 years I've ruled as Tamriel's Emperor. Patrick Stewart is awesome. But for all these years, I've never been the ruler of my own dreams. I have seen the gates of oblivion, beyond which no waking eye may see. Behold, in darkness, a doom sweeps the land. This awesome. is the 27th of Last Seed, the year of Akatosh 433. These are the closing days of the Third Era, and the final hours of my life. then we're on the ship instead of the prison so we won't be escaping from the imperial prison uh, I didn't have a lot of time to think about this um, so I'll just go with Mandis from a machine for pigs um, let's see you have the very obvious imperial Khajiit mystic elf which is uh, add it from a mod. I won't be using this. Mystic Elf. Come on. Fucking I don't care. Nord. Orc. Red Guard. Wood Elf. High Elf. Argonian. Breton. Dark Elf. And High Elf. They, there they are. I thought about it. I thought about what I'm gonna do. And I believe I am going... Uh, in addition to their cultural affinities from many weapon and armor styles, they also... Huh, I I could be a red guard. Yeah, why not? We can we can do an afro and everything. Name him Michael Jackson instead of Mandis. I'll be a red guard. That is, that is decided. Of course, face, I will be randomizing. I don't really care what he looks like. Yes. No. 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 Is that Nelson Mandela? Kind of looks like him. Come on, something good. All of them have huge fucking eyes. And they're apart like stars. Oh, that's, that's not too bad. 
All right. Um, how about shit? No. Nose. I could make it really ugly, but I, I don't really want to. Like, I don't want it to be super serious. But I also don't want it to be like, you're going to be very young. Eyes are going to be green. Hair is frizzy. No. Ridge robe. Rose, of course. No. Cropped. No. Actually, you know what? No. Once we get to the mod ones, I'm going to stop like going this way. There are no mod ones. Okay, then I think Frizzy will... Or if I, should I go with the, uh, the loose one? I usually use something like that. Oh, no, 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 wait. I, I, I want the ponytail. I want the ponytail. Uh, I think black will be the best one. It would be long hair. Yes, now, that is good. So, Mandis... Red guard. Face looks like that. Uh, we got a ponytail. Very long one. Eyes are green. Age and complexion all the way down. We're done. Yes, I would like to be a red guard. Now we actually get to uh, move the character around. I don't think... Yes. We can't leave. I really would have wished for the mod to allow you to actually go on deck and just look around and stuff. Um, you can take these, but they're not really worth anything. And there's the bed. Can't sleep yet. You need to fill in this. Uh, specialization. Custom class. No, wait, actually, back and back. No. Oh, fuck it. Whatever. Done. Yes, I want to be that. I don't really, but still. Alright, so... I was thinking that I could go with the same route as I always go... Which is, you know, hit sword, do some spells, and such and such. But now I'm going to go more over uh, blade and blunt. So I'm looking for... No, that's shit. How about the warrior? How about the warrior? Nope, nope. Um... The Lord? I'll just go with the warrior. I'll, I'll, I'll be boring. Yes. Now, specialization, custom class. Uh, more towards combat. Um, let's go with strength and endurance. You can never go wrong with those. Alright, so now the fun part of creating a new character, which is choosing the major skills. Alright, so we definitely want... Um, should I go with blunt? Or blade? There's one blunt weapon that you can get pretty early on in the game. I'll just go with that. Um, let's see. Alchemy, I need it, even though people say that, you know, it's not very recommended that you take this, because this, as well as the magic skills, can cause you to get under leveled because you can get uh level up pretty easily with this but i still i love it like you know free potions who doesn't want that um armor athletics acrobatics um block and should i take speech craft or maybe mercantile I'm not sure. We don't need security because once you get uh, the skeleton key, you get plus 40 to that. So that's an automatic journeyman. And plus, it, skeleton key makes this redundant because it will never break. So it <laughs> doesn't really matter anyways. Light armor. Nope. Illusion. Nope. Don't need it. Oh, heavy armor. Of course. I'll be using heavy armor, by the way. That is six of them. Should I keep these? Or should I uh, skip athletics or acrobatics? You don't really need uh, restoration. Restoration, because I'll be using uh, poisons and potions anyway more than anything. 
Let's see. Don't need. Don't need. Security. Don't need. Don't need. Mysticism. Nope. Mercantile. Nope. Well, mercantile could be good. It could be. And I would sure like to try it, but... Light armor, no. Illusion, no. Hand to hand, definitely no. Destruction, conjuration, and blunt. Okay, I think that's... I think that's good. I just want to make it sure. I just... I just want to make sure. I just want to make sure that I have everything that I actually want. Because if I, if I don't, that will be crap. So there's no changing these after this. Of course you can change them through the console, but I'm not going to do that. Because I'm not going to cheat. I'm not going to cheat one bit. Okay, good. Alright, we shall name this. Um, 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 let's see. The machine for pigs. All right, done. I want to be a machine. Yes. Should have named that like asshole or something. Do you want to be an asshole? Sure, I do. Sure, I do. We are going to be a skilled craftsman, and we are Fletchers. We're comfortably off. Oh, there we go. Anvil. Alright. Are you afflicted by any of the following diseases? So here you can pick. Uh, don't pick any of these. Then you'll end up a vampire and that is not good. I think we're done now. And thus the game begins. Countess Milona Umbrano Umbranox of Anvil is well loved by her people. She lost her husband many years ago. That is sad. Restoration magic has spells that cure disease and uh, it's all high. Alright, come on, load it up. Ah, oh, that was weird. Go take your break. Why am I so oh, okay. Let's do Did I do it? Nope. There we go. And then go back over there, because sometimes Hail. auto sprint is always off. Hello. I'm Newheim, Anvil Harbor Master. That's great. Um, you too. You have a long and happy life. I hope. Okay, so now we're gonna go into a little bit about why Anvil is the best place to begin, especially if you're using Oblivion Overhaul. I should have just say, said Oscurus, but um, if you start the vanilla game, I do believe that uh. When you start it, you have all of the cities marked on your map. Well, now you don't. There's one of them, which is this, which is not even an actual town. It's just a front, it's just a setup. It's from a mod, which I'm, I'm not gonna go there. It just sucks. Um, and I do have populated cities or NPCs. There's a lot of them. Uh, like there's travelers. Well met. Uh, Travelers, Hello, mages, man. farmers, and so on and so on. Tiding citizen. Tidings to you as well, fuckface. Uh, okay, so now we're, what we're gonna do first the is go over here. It's you. It's you, hi. Because you can join these whenever you want. And obviously, I think. Where the fuck is she? Hey, fuckface, come on, let's do this. Come on, let's go. Stop blocking her. I need to talk to her. Come on, go. Oh, hello. They're also mad. Come on, just go. Okay. Sorry. Hello there. Is there something with which I can assist you? Perhaps you're curious about joining the Mages Guild. Yes, look at that hair. The fuck is wrong with you? Join the Mages Guild. As long as you're not a wanted criminal, I'm there's not. a place for you in the Guild. Are you interested? I love how lax their requirements are. Yes, I want to join the guild. All right, then. You're now an associate of the Mages Guild. They must have a fuck ton of associ associates. You'll need to receive a recommendation from each local guild hall in Cyrodiil to advance in the guild and be given any sort of responsibility. They can be done in any order, but they must all be sent in to the council before you can enter the Arcane University. All right. So now you can uh, take the recommendation, but I'm going to explain a little I bit. Heard that 
Why this is the best cities to start in, in my opinion, because it has, uh, of course, both Mage's Guild and uh, Fighter's Guild. And they both have missions where you kill something, but you get friends. With Oscars, you really want friends in the beginning. God, fucking this idiot. Stop talking. Also, when you join a guild, apart from a few things, you can take pretty much anything. So there's food. I'll take the corn. Sweet roll. Oh, let me guess. Somebody stole your sweet roll. Tomato. Silver goblets. You can take that. No, you actually can't. And you can test uh, your... Your stealth sneak. What was it? Security. Of course. Security skill. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff you can do, but most... How goes it? You want to take... These and check all of the bags. I really got to... Use the take all thing. Venison is apparently too expensive or something, so they won't allow you. And this is a very easy way to start off doing uh, alchemy because you, you get flour and all sorts of other items that have restore fatigue. So it's really, really easy to get started here. But the best thing to come out of these is this guild storage. I jumped because I'm so happy. You get these two potions. Associates Clarity and Associates Renewal. Restore health one point for 60 seconds. So each second you get one point for a minute after drinking this. These you can take. All the guild halls have these in every city. And plus you can take all of these even if you don't use them. Just take them. They don't weigh anything. There's the guild storage policy which we don't care about so I'm probably gonna start the game with doing the fighters guild which is over here as well and this is a really really easy mission that you start off with you like fight rats and whatever there's Azan um fantastic ah really oh yes of course I didn't even join it yet what can I do for you looking for some work if so the Fighters Guild can always use able-bodied new members. I am such member. Well, I, I will be such member. The Fighters Guild is always looking for new members. If you've got a clean record and don't have a bounty on your head, we may be able to use you. Use you me? Mm. Yes, sign me up. Fine. You are now are, an associate of the Fighters Fine. Guild. Join the them. Contracts, speak either Whatever. with me or with Burzgro Kosh in Chadenhall. Good luck to you. All right, so he gives contracts. We're going to go check the chest over here. Ho! Oh, more of this shit. Sweet ass cakes. Two points for 60 seconds. These are the best things that you'll have. And you get some repair hammers, which is very cool because we have it zero monies. Somerset Isle has become a much more dangerous place. All right, let's see. Hello, hello. Well met. We can check into these. There's, I don't really care for pickaxes. No. No brooms. No. No. I don't think there's anything here. Nope, there's not. All right. So now, I'll take the first oh, quest. No. Uh, contract, of A course. Contract for you? I think I've got something that suits your experience. New blood. Phyllis has some problem with rats in her house. That's it? Rats. Yes, rats. I'm sure she can explain it to you better than I. She lives here in Anvil. Go and talk to her. Good luck. Thank you. I am going to need a lot of luck Go with these rats. They're surely a menace to society, and I must kill them. Jumping my way over there. Ah, she's not even in her... Wait, I think she is. No, wait, there she is. It's funny how I recognize the people. Oh. Aww. And your poor little face, because ah, you're fucking you ugly. You must be from the Fighters Guild. Good, I have a problem. It has to do with the rats in my basement. Uh, rats. That's right. Rats in my basement. And something has been killing them. It's horrible. My poor babies. You must do something. Yeah, I can kill the rats for you. I don't know what I do without them. 